And you've been living in this house for how long? 40 years, 40 plus years. Okay, so they were here doing obviously the search. They had to tear up the patio. They didn't find anything, but you were telling me just kind of a different story from what police have told us. So what, what's know. going on here? Oh, I, how I met her is I met her at a grocery store one time. I was thumping some uh, melons and she come up and she, so we got to be talking and then I told her, you know, we got to find out that I'd gone through a pretty bad relationship with somebody for like 11 years. She was a dope head and she took me for everything. So she didn't volunteer that if I needed somebody to come over and cook every now and then, she would. So we did that. So one day she came out and parked her car in front of my house and it was cold. And she asked me, could she sleep right there in front of the house? I said, what do you mean? Her husband or whatever, the guy that got deported to Mexico had left her with no rent money, no food, no nothing, no diapers. And uh, so I told her, look, I got two extra rooms. Y'all are willing to come in if y'all want to come in and stay there. I said, I'm not going to charge you rent. So then later on, she ended up meeting her husband to be at one of the little stores down the street. And they ended up getting married because CPS had come out here when they had taken her kids originally because she did have a DWI and she did have a drinking problem when, you know, when she was here. I, I quit drinking altogether because of her DWI. And um, anyway, she had been clean for like two or three years because she had a breathalyzer, so she has to do that. But she was on probation like eight, eight to ten years if she broke it. That's why she fled because when they came again, they couldn't find the well. And she supposedly told him where she took him. I don't know where she took him, have no idea. The story I'd got that she had taken him to the father, the father didn't want him, but the sister did. And so she left him with the sister. Now, I can't verify that because I don't know none of it to be a fact. So, so what were the, the, the slabs, this, this search? What have they she, told you about that? Uh, not, not a thing. And I kept telling them the slab was poured after Noel supposedly had disappeared. You know, I mean, why, why would he be underneath the slab? I think they just tore it up because they don't have, they don't have no idea where the boy is and they're frustrated. But why was the slab poured and then the family immediately left? Because she, she built the slab because, you know, she had the twins. She wanted to build a patio so the twins would have some place. She could sit in the patio and watch her kids play on the trampoline and, and the swings back there during the summer. But she was eventually was going to add another room to the back of the house because her oldest daughter, the one that was with her now, not her oldest, but the one that lived with her, was going to need a room. She wanted a room, build a room. That's why it was heavy on one end. They kept saying it was more, it was heavy on one end because she was actually going to build another room back there. But you know why if she had all those plans, she suddenly up and left? Scared. Scared that she was going to go to prison for eight years and then not watch her kids grow up. Her twin, you know, you take away from her twins, she ain't going to get to see them if she goes to prison. She was scared that she was going to go to prison because because no missing? Yeah. Because uh, that and CPS are going to take come take her kids to start off with. You know that with Noel missing there, you know they're going to take the kids. Uh, they, and now people are saying she was abusive. I've never seen her abuse Noel or any of the kids. And yeah. you're the homeowner? I'm the homeowner. I've been here 10 years. Like I worked most of the time when she was here. Did she get permission from you to pour that slab or how did that? She's gonna inherit, she was going to inherit the house, so she didn't need my permission. Because I have nobody to leave the house to, nobody at all. I don't want to leave it to the city. So, you know, she could bas basically was doing it for her own benefit. And police told you not to go back there? I mean, have they told uh, you? When they first started tearing up, cut the little hole in the slab, police knocked on my door and said, if you come in the backyard while we're doing this, we're going to arrest you and take you to jail. And I said, for what? It's my house, my property. And uh, they never give me a reason. What, what do you make of all this? Huh? What do you make of all this that's happening? They're, I, I know the police are desperate to find the boy, but they're looking in the wrong place is all I can say. Because he, he, he's not here. What do you think he is? I have no idea. I think he's in Mexico, to be honest with you. Do you, do you think he's alive? Huh? You yeah, I think he's alive. And that's why I told him I wasn't going to go to that deal they had last night. Because until you show me a body that he's dead, then I'll believe you. Because I, I think no way he's dead. 
somebody's got him, somebody's scared that they're going to get in trouble with the law because they've got him, and they got him illegally, basically. She didn't go through the courts like I asked her, like I told her, if you're going to get re adopt Noel, go through the court system, but she didn't do that. Did, did you live here with them? Huh? Were you here with them? You lived here with them? They lived here with me. They it's my place. Okay. Yeah. When do you notice the kids were gone? Uh, when I came from work, and you know, I didn't, I didn't deal with the kid much because I'd already had three surgeries on this arm. This is at the time, and I wasn't feeling good, and I was nervous about having to go because the doctor was setting me up with a surgeon, and that made me nervous. I was scared of that, so I, I didn't, I didn't spend much time with the kids when I came from work. I just had quit work. I had to quit work because I wasn't physically able to work, and then I was worried about my bills, so I was sitting down trying to figure out how I'm going to pay my bills on Social Security. You know, they help some, but I don't like to count on somebody else's help. That's not their problem. But yeah, they they didn't have to pay me rent, but they did pay extra money. Did you find it suspicious when Noel just wasn't around back, I mean, back in November? No, she it? told me that she was had taken him to the boy's daddy and that he didn't want him but the sister did want him for what i was told so where's the sister is she in the area or is she back in mexico Do you know anything about you them? know what she did, she wasn't gone long enough not to, to, to take him to mexico but the sister lives in mexico but i also remember back 10 years ago i took him to his when they were have they when they first had problems i took him to somebody's house and it was in fort worth and i think that was it that was his family, so that was before he got deported. So I really don't know. I, I have no idea where it was. I, I can't remember that. I mean, it wasn't important to me. When she told you that she uh, that the huh? kid was in Mexico, when, when she told you the kid was in Mexico, did you believe her? Did you, like, see, like... I, I didn't question her. I mean, they're her kids. I, I couldn't do what anything. But I, she didn't tell you that she was leaving like she didn't give you any heads no up. She no just up and not left. at all she just up and left okay. left me at the hospital by myself you know you mentioned that the phones were the phones were all cut off that's when i knew something was up and i was kept panicky being in the hospital like they wouldn't let me go they wouldn't release me and you know that's not a good uh, oh, my police, dog he, police here looking for her there huh uh, police here are looking for her there in India. She's charged with a crime. Yeah. What, what would you want her to know? What would you tell her if you could speak to I her? I would ask her. I wished I would have been here. I think I could have talked her out of going, but I wasn't here. And her husband's from over there. I don't know what kind of story. I don't know how they're going to hide it. I don't know nothing about expedition or whatever, how they're going to get them. And you said Charles Parsons? Yeah. Parsons. P A R S O N. Yeah. And, and again, we everybody hears some version of this story and can't quite make hide or hail. Yeah. You're at least several steps closer to it than we are. What don't we? What don't people who hear about this understand about these people we're talking about? What that, don't we know? That they they were good. They're good parents. I mean, they love their kids. They really love their kids. Why would you can check the kids' grades in school? The girl was making straight A's. The boy was a B student. She got another girl that was an A student. Does that sound like kids that are being abusive? You go back there and see all the toys they got. They got more toys that I'm going to throwing away than, than a man can shake a fist at. They, they're not rich. You can't speak for her, so I'm not no, asking I you can't. to. Yeah. If, if she took her son to Mexico or to someone who took him to Mexico, yeah. why the secrecy? Why, why the... I can't, I can't tell you. I don't know. Because she's afraid she's going to lose her other kids. That's why. I mean, she's already lost them for a whole year. Can you, can you imagine going a whole year without seeing your twins and they're three months old? I can't. I Do mean, you know anything about the husband? Because they, because he's been, they recently got married, right? His newer husband? I know her husband. Yeah, he'd been here for quite a while. I okay. think like two years. Do you know and, anything uh, about him? He was, a, he was he worked every day. He made decent money. I mean, they got along good. They, he took care of the kids. He loved the kids. They would call him daddy.